Welcome to Science Access. In today's class, I'll be starting my lessons on binary operation. What is binary operation? It's actually the rule for combining two numbers or two elements to form another element. It's actually operational in non-empty set. Now, let's just take a look at this example to make the solving of binary operation very easy for you. Remember, we are talking about the rule for combining two elements, binary two, all right? So let's take a look at this operation. X star Y is equals to 2X plus Y. Now, X star Y, this is the rule for solving X star Y, 2X plus Y. Determine 5 star 3. Now, if you are not giving 5 star 3 to solve this question, you simply use the rule that is given. 2x plus y, which 2, you put your 2 here. Now, remember, this is x and this is y. So, it's now 2 bracket x, which is 5, plus y, which is 3. Remember, this is x and this is y. So, 2x, which is 5, plus 3. 3 is y. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 3. And if you add, you have 13 as your answer. Now, let's take a look at question number two. Question number two. For this operation, x star y is equal to x plus y all over four. Now, for this, you are given the rule to solve question x star y is equal to x plus y all over four. This is the rule. Now, if you are not asked to determine four star eight, for each question, you may be given a different rule. This rule is different from the formal rule that we are, we are given. All right? Determine 4 star 8. Remember, if you have 4 star 8, for this rule, you have x. x is actually 4, and y is actually what? 8. So, 4 plus 8, all over 4. If you add these two together, you have 12, all over what? 4. If you use 4 to divide 12, your answer is 3. Now, let's take a look at question number Let's take a look at question number three. S star y is equals to s plus y all over two. Remember again the rule. The operation in this case is s star y is equals to x plus y all over two. Now determine one over two star one over two. In this case, what do you do? The rule one over two star one over two simply means. 1 over 2 plus 1 all over 2 all over 2. How did I get that? X is 1 all over 2. Y is 1 all over 2. So if you are asked to determine S star Y, it simply means X plus Y. And what is X? 1 all over 2 plus what is Y? 1 all over 2. All over 2. All right? So that is how to solve this question. Now, we have to solve the numerator first. And we now take a look at the G nominator. Now, let's take a look at the numerator. How do we add this together? It's just following your simple mathematics rule. You look for the LCM. LCM of 2 and 2 is actually 2. Then, 2 going to 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 1. These two, then you put your addition sign here. 2, these 2 going to these 2 is 1. Then, 1 times this is actually 1. So, that is how we got 1 plus 1 all over 2. Now, everything here is still all over 2. Now, if you add 1 plus 1, you have 2. So, you now have 2 all over 2, which is this 2 all over 2. All over 2. Now, if you use this 2 to divide this 2, what will you get? You get 1. And your final answer is now 1 all over this 2. Let's take a look at question number 4. In this case, the rule here says that S star Y is equal to 2X plus 3Y minus XY. Again, x star y is equal to 2x plus 3y minus xy. Now, remember, x is actually 0, y is 4. So, we put our 2 here, then x is 0, plus put our 2 here, then y is what? 4. Minus, open your bracket, x is 0 times y is what? 4. You close your bracket. So, 2 times 0 is 0 here. 3 times 4 is 12. Then 0, put your minus sign there. Then 0 times 4 is what? 0. 
if you add 0 to 12, you have 0. Then 12 minus 0 is actually 12. Actually 12. So please take note. It's only when you multiply 0 with any number that you have 0. But if you add and subtraction is a different rule. So 12 minus 0 is actually 12. All right? Take note. Now, star, this is another operation. We are using inverted angle. All right? Star, inverted angle, y is equals to x squared plus y squared minus 2x squared. Now, determine 4 and what? 5. Remember here, is this is x and this is what? Y. Now, it's still the same thing. There are a lot of symbols that are used in solving or a binary operation. So, in this case, it's a different symbol from the one that we have been using, but you still follow the same rule. All right? Please take note. Now, in this case, we just, we know that here, if uh, x inverted angle y, you now follow this rule, x squared plus y squared minus 2x squared. So, 4 inverted angle 5 is equal to 4 square. Why am I putting 4 square here? 4 square is actually x. x is 4. Then, according to the rule, I'm to square it. So, 4 square plus here, I'm to look for the square of what? Y. So, what is the value of Y? Y is 5. So, I will now have to square Y. Minus, now, here is 2XY. So, I'll now put, open bracket, 2 times X is 4 and Y is 5. I'll close the bracket. So, 4 square is actually 16. Plus, 5 square is 25. Minus, 2 times 4 is 8. Times 5 is 40. So, you now have minus 40. Your board mass as usual, you have to solve the addition before the subtraction. Remember, always remember this rule of board mass. This is bracket of division, multiplication, addition before subtraction. So I'll have to add these two together. I add this together. I'll have forty-one minus now this forty here. Forty-one minus forty, you have one as your answer. Let's take a few more examples before I give you practice assignment. All right, let's solve one more question in this introductory class. We have this operation equals to x plus y minus xy. Now, in this case, as we know, this is x and this is y. So, let's now solve. Determine 4 inverted angle 5 equal to, now, take a look at this. x, this is x y, this is y, minus x, y, which is 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is actually 20. So if you add these two together, you have 9. 9 minus 11. Sorry, 9 minus 20, you have the answer as 11. So this is just the introductory class for binary operation. You can play with this. Now, you may look at this operation that I give as a semi that is complex. A um, option B equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2A. Find 2 star 3 close bracket star 4. Remember your board mass. You must solve the bracket first. So you will have to look for the operation 2 star 3. First, after solving that, you now use the answer to solve the answer star 4. You now solve that. So the question on the board, it's easy. Solve it. You can screenshot your answer, send it to the mail during this place on the board. And if it's not correct, I'll solve it and send a picture of the correct answer to you. In the part two of this video, I'll be explaining more and solving more challenging questions. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel. Thank you.